Hello, my name is Sharon Powell, and I'm one of the authors on the Make Money Make Sense Financial Activities Project. Um, today, I'm sharing with you some ideas about how I use these different activities and providing a basic sort of set of instructions for how I use them um, in hopes that this will be more clear for you to see how you can use these. Okay, so right now I'm going to be talking about the satisfying needs and wants um, activity, and that is essentially a set of cards that we created, um, needs and wants cards, where we have a bunch of different cards that have different um, items on them, and we allow students to go through the cards and say whether or not they think something is a need or a want. So I'm going to share my screen and show you these. We tried to tailor these to the lives of young people, so that will be reflected in here. We don't have things that, that we would use with adults as frequently, and um, so as just like I was saying about the um, the income and expense game, I get these printed off on cardstock rather than getting them laminated because I find them easier to shuffle through when you do it that way. And then what we do is we have a little discussion about needs versus wants, and we have some suggestions for ways you can lead that discussion um, in our activity book. And then once we've had the discussion, we say, all right, well, let's hear a little bit more about how you feel about needs and wants. And so we, I give everybody a set of cards and I ask them to go through the cards and separate them into two piles, a need pile or a want pile. And then that's what they do. And then afterwards we have a discussion about what they included in their needs and wants piles and why. And um, I'm always clear to state that there's no right or wrong about needs versus wants, that it really depends upon the individual as to what will fall into the category of needs in your life and wants in your life. And so um, sometimes I've found the reason why I really highlight that is because in the past when I've worked with people, sometimes we just sort of get hung up on this big debate about whether or not something is a need or a want. And I like to um, try to sidestep that debate if I can and help people just know that it's what's most important is for you to know in your own life whether something is a need or a want. Um, the other thing I was going to say about this is that I do this, like I said, it's designed to sort of have everybody have their their cards and then they separate out their cards and then they talk about them. But I have seen other people use this um, in terms of doing it as a group activity more where you have one set of cards which you set up there and then you can have needs be the kind of the area on one side of the room and wants be the area on the other side of the room and then you have the person draw the card and call out the item and then people separate themselves as to whether they think it's a need or a want by standing on one side of the room or the other. So that's a kind of a neat uh, alternative to doing it just by separating the cards. You can actually get up and get people moving around the room. It just really is up to you and your group as to which you think will be most effective. And if there are other things, sometimes we have people share a set of cards if we have a large group. And so then that's kind of interesting because the people have to sort of agree upon whether something is a need or a want. And then the other kind of um, like different way of doing this that I've seen actually I do this myself when I do the needs and wants activity is sometimes people create more than one or sort of sorry more than two piles I do that I have my needs pile and my wants pile but then I have like my high priority wants and then my lower level wants and so I usually wind up with at least three piles so if people want to do it that way that's fine too really the goal is to really begin to get people to think about for their own lives what counts as a need and what counts as a want, because really that's the very heart of establishing a money management system for yourself is figuring out a way to pay for all of your needs and some of your wants. So this is just a fun way to begin to examine that. 